Blessings, Sagittarius. Hope you're having a wonderful December. Here is your current energy reading. We'll start with by the book. The universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings, in turn, have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and they govern behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is very important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them, rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance, for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to these universal laws and it will be easier to go by the book. We'll move on to decide. Two of the most powerful words to raise your vibration and gain the support of your higher celestial forces are, I decide. Sagittarius, the moment that you truly decide on a particular goal and fully commit to a course of action, the universe can step up and begin to assist you. But until you decide, the only thing the universe and all your divine support systems can do is respect your free will and patiently wait. Not even your angels or guides can override your lack of decision. Once your new intention is set, however, all sources of higher power are ready, willing, and able to assist you. So ask yourself, Sagittarius, what have I decided and what is my intention now? Once you name it, the universe is moving. Quick reminder, if you haven't yet, to subscribe. I do have giveaways where I'll give away full readings, private full readings for subscribers. So make sure to subscribe. I also have um, live oracle readings where I'll give quick readings to people. So make sure to subscribe and like this video to help me and to help the service grow. I appreciate it. We'll move on to the third card, which is Adventure. This is coming from the Oracle of the Unicorns. You're being called to embark in an adventure, explore the world, or enjoy new experiences. Maybe you dream of moving to another state or country to start afresh in a new landscape. Perhaps you're feeling bored, stuck, stifled, and know there is more to life than the rut that you've been stuck in, whether to fly to the other side of the world or to move to a new city or simply to get away for a weekend. It's time to go on a journey. Release the belief that you need lots of money up front before you can even start dreaming about this. Ask the unicorns for help to bring in all of the resources and opportunities required to make your travel dream a reality. Start researching your dream location or homes as if you already have the funds, as if you already have the time and the resources to support you, because you do. Believe that anything is possible. You never know, you might come across a house sitting opportunity, a house swap, or an out of the box answer to your dreams. Give yourself permission to hold a big vision and enjoy the process of manifesting your adventure. Awesome, we'll move to the Angels of Abundance who have two messages for you today. One is to face your financial fears and another one is to release jealousy or comparison. We'll start with release, sorry, we'll start with face your financial fears. This card comes to you because the angels see how your unconscious anxieties have pushed away abundance. Deep down, you worry whether you deserve to receive abundance. In addition, you've been struggling with fear, both of failure and of success. 
which has kept you stuck in indecision and inaction. Fortunately, once you admit these fears to yourself, they lose their power to unconsciously control you. Perhaps it's helpful for you to hear that every person struggles with self-doubts. The human ego is designed to keep people afraid and prevent them from fulfilling their divine destiny. Thankfully, you are blessed with a gift of self-awareness. You can take an honest inventory of your thought processes, your emotions, and admit that you have sometimes sabotaged your own success. These realizations are ensuring that you no longer allow yourself to be intimidated and your decisions will be guided by love instead of fear. And release jealousy. You're being reminded that jealousy is not a necessary or even helpful part of your spiritual journey. When we express jealousy, what we're actually expressing is the fear of lack. We may fear that there is a lack of funds or a lack of customers, opportunities, or even a lack of love. Then we see someone else's abundance and we may feel that they are blocking us from receiving our abundance. The angels want to reassure you that this is false. God's love and abundance are infinite and therefore there is no lack anywhere. This is just an illusion. There, there is more than enough for each one of us to receive what we need in order to fulfill our life purpose. Sagittarius, you would not have been brought here to earth if there were not enough tools available for you to succeed in your earthly mission. So please release thoughts and feelings of jealousy or comparison and realize that God has a plan for you and that you need only to ask for the things that you need. The angels teach us that jealousy slams the door shut on manifestation. Beneath this emotion is the underlying negative affirmation. Why do they have that and I don't? And so you manifest exactly as you affirm and you don't have it and you won't have it. Instead of being envious of someone else's success, bless them. Let them inspire you. If they can have it or do it, so can you. In addition, this card can mean that, mean that someone else is jealous of you and this envy is affecting you negatively. If you suspect that this is the case, then pray. Pray to God or whatever type of higher power that you believe in and ask for clearing of energy and protection from jealousy and other negativity that is blocking the flow of abundance into your awareness. You can also forgive those who have attacked you, who have been jealous of you in order to clear this energy. So release, release these blockages as well as you can. Most of it is really reflecting on what it is that's keeping you back. What is the fear and then moving in a different direction and we'll finish off here with the surrender deck which Sagittarius you're being called here to surrender your desire to control people so check yourself being over controlling can sabotage relationships so to more effectively achieve your goals you may need to back off meditate regroup and then and give the situation some breathing room so you're not so you're not feeling so heavily invested and having to convince others or force others. Allow them to see your truth. Allow them to see their truth. And move forward with gratitude and compassion. Sagittarius, I love you very much. I wish you a wonderful end of year. And I will see you at the next reading. If you'd like a private reading, please contact me directly. I do give readings per donation. And the donation is open. So as long as it's one dollar, one American dollar or more, that should be fine. <laughs> it's really easy. And again, look out for free giveaways where I give away free readings. I will talk to you soon. I will hear from you soon, hopefully. Until next time, namaste.